hello friends so welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i will show you how you can install postgresql in your windows operating system so first of all you have to download postgresql so to download postgresql you have to open any web browser so simply open your web browser and type postgresql once you type postgresql press enter and once you press enter, it will open the official website of PostgreSQL. Basically, the first link which appears is PostgreSQL.org. That is the official website of PostgreSQL. So simply click on it, open this link. And once you open this link, it will open the PostgreSQL.org website, which is the official website of PostgreSQL. Here you can see the download button. So simply click on download. Once I click, once we click on the download button, it will open the download section of PostgreSQL website. Here you can see the download option for different different uh, operating system. So I will install in Windows operating system. So simply click on Windows operating system. So once I click on Windows operating system, it will open Windows installer. Here you can see the different different version of post with SQL. And here on the top, you can see a link download the installer. Basically, this is the link to download installer for Windows operating system. So simply click on download the installer so once i click on download the installer link it will open the download downloads of postgresql and here you can see the different different version of postgresql the latest version of postgresql is 15.3 and here you can see the link to download postgresql for different different operating system so simply i will click on this download icon below the windows windows operating system so simply click on this so once i click on this it will start downloading postgresql in the bottom you can see it has started the download of postgresql i am simply cancel this because i have already downloaded postgresql my system so i will simply minimize this and i will open the downloads folder of my system so if i go to the download folder here as you can see i have already downloaded this so basically this is a exe file you have to run this file now so simply double click on it once i double click on this it will ask me to allow the changes to your device means it is asking to run this file simply click on yes and once i click on yes it will start installing postgresql it will open the windows setup wizard to install postgresql so here you can see on your uh, here you can see on your screen it will start postgresql download so here you can see it has started it has opened the setup for postgresql and it is showing the message welcome to postgresql setup wizard so simply click on next once you click on next it will ask you to choose a path where you want to install postgresql here you can see it is asking installation directory where that means where you want to install postgresql so by default it is c program files postgresql 15 so i will keep it as it is you can change this if you want to install somewhere else so you can change this directory but i will keep it as it is and simply click on next next basically this is the path where postgresql will be installed okay so i will click on next once i click on next it is asking me to it is showing me some options here means these are the option these are the component that is going to install in this setup okay so first one is postgresql server pg admin 4 stack builder and command line tool so i will install everything so i will keep it as it is okay if you don't want to install any one of them you can simply uncheck this but for now i will keep it as it is and simply click on next once i click on next 
it is asking me to select a directory to store your data means this is the path this is the directory where postgresql will will store all his data okay so you can again change this directory if you want but i will keep it as it is okay so simply click on next once i click on next it is asking me to provide the password for database super user postgres means uh, the default user is postgres here you can see uh, the default user is postgres so it is asking me to choose to select a password for this user so provide any password and keep it in mind when you will uh, run the postgresql server you will start postgresql server it will ask you to type this password okay so i will type here some password and remember this password because whenever you will start postgresql server it it will ask you to type this password okay so i will click on simply next so it is showing me the port which is 5432 uh, please select the port number and okay so this is the port and uh, don't change this uh, keep it as, as it is and click on next once i click on next it is asking me to select the local to be used this 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 here you can select your i am indian so i will select english from india okay so i have selected this and click on next so this is the settings that is used that is going to be used for installation okay so click on next and once you click on next it will actually start the installation of postgresql here you can see on the screen it is it is installing postgresql on your system okay so you have to wait till the process completes it will take around five to seven minutes it it totally depends on your system performance how your system performs okay so simply wait i'm also waiting till the process complete so here you can see the set installation process is complete here you can see the completing postgresql setup wizard and here this is the button to finish the installation process before this it is showing some checkbox here and basically this means uh, if you check this uh, checkbox and click on finish it will download and install stack builder okay but right now i don't want to download and install stack builder so simply i uncheck this and click on finish if you check this and click on finish it will download and install stack builder but i don't want to download so i uncheck this and click on finish once i click on finish it has successfully installed postgresql on your windows operating system you can also check your directory if you remember you have installed you have choose the directory where you want to install postgresql so in my case i have provided i have installed postgresql in c directory in program files and if i scroll down here you can see postgresql and this is the directory where postgresql has installed in your system if i open this uh, this is the version and you can see all the data here that means postgresql is installed in your system successfully if you search here if i search postgresql or pg admin for pg admin for here you can see pg admin for that is the basically pg admin for is gui tool for postgresql means it is graphical user interface gui for postgresql and if you search here psql psql is basically command line uh, sql cell for postgresql here you can see sql cell so you can run your command on command prompt or sql psql or pgn pg admin for by using gui okay so i will open pg admin for let's open pg admin for if i open pg admin for that is the gui for postgresql uh, means you can graphically uh, maintain uh, or everything from this uh, pg admin for tool uh, you can create your database you can delete your database you can and run or execute write your queries here so here you can see servers if i click on server it will show me the postgresql 15 and here you can see red cross that means right now you are not connected to server okay so before this we will connect uh, the connect to the server it is asking me connect to server please enter the password 
for user postgres to connect this 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 so if you remember i have told you uh, keep it in mind the password that i have provided for the postgres user okay so it is asking the password to connect so simply type your password that you have provided during the installation so i will type my password and click on ok so once i click on ok here you can see it has successfully connected to postgresql here you can see server one server found postgresql 15 now you can see the red cross mark is disappeared uh, okay uh, is no more because now we are connected to the internet uh, sorry we are connected to the postgresql server here you can see databases uh, here you can see one database which is the default database which is uh, that is postgres so this is the default database okay so now that means you are successfully connected to postgresql if uh, now if you click on postgresql 15 which is server and right click on this and if you disconnect here here you can see an option disconnect from server means if you want to disconnect from here you can click on this and click on yes now you can see the red cross here that means now you are disconnected to your server that means the postgresql is successfully installed on your system so congratulations once again i will leave this and i will also show you here the command prompt okay so type psql and open this and this is the basically command line tool for postgresql here you can see server localhost if you press enter okay and these are the basically default settings server localhost data postgres if i press again enter port 5432 again press enter username postgres which is the default user for postgresql and if i press enter again it will ask me the password for postgres user that uh, password that you provided during the installation okay so now i am trying to connect to the server via command line tool okay so simply type your password that you have provided during the installation press enter if you press enter you can see here it is connected to the server you are seeing postgres something this that means it is successfully running on your system here you can also see the version that we have installed postgresql 15.3 okay so now that is running perfectly if you type here some command if you type a command slash l okay and press enter here you can see wait a minute here you can see uh, it is basically um, backward slash l okay uh, if i show you again uh, if you type slash l basically this is command in postgresql that show the databases that is right now present in your sql and postgresql server okay so if i want to close this simply uh, type backward slash q and press enter that means it will queue okay it will close the command line tool for postgresql so congratulations you have successfully installed postgresql on your system if you are facing some issues if you are facing some error simply comment down below the video and comment down in the video comment section i will try to connect you and i will try to resolve the problem and i will help you okay so if you like the video if this video is helpful for you you can like the video you can share the video with your friend and if you are new to our youtube channel you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos and tutorials for like this so thank you for watching this video i will see you in the next video